Chris, you come on here and you start to talk about how the HIV is the reason that there's less T cells and then you start to black out and freak out when you're, you're in the middle of saying it because you know that, that they don't know that for sure. The HIV virus does not proven to lower T cell count. It's coincidentally, when there's a low T cell count, it's possible that there is also the presence of the HIV virus. That's the way it works. The HIV virus is not responsible for the low T cell count. You come on here and you tell me that I'm wrong and that it's a stupid idea to question science. I know you work as a nurse in the healthcare profession and you believe what you're told so that you can do your job, but question it. Look for a better way. Don't just fucking believe what you're told, dude. You doing this and being a cog in the wheel is just going to keep this fucking governmental machine running. And people are going to keep getting treated with medicine and people are going to keep dying. This virus just appeared because we just started looking for it. It's always been there. Whether or not you get sick is your choice. Now, I see you put all these links up of facts of what the current scientific community believes. The whole point of the scientific community is to question the scientific community while enlightening people along the way and encouraging people to continue to question and look for other ideas other than what's in the fucking textbook. Don't blast me for this. Listen to what I'm saying and look at the links Look at, the, look at the information. Look at the people. Look at Peter Duesberg, who's being laughed at by the scientific community for fucking questioning it. He's a brave man. He's the person that isolated the first cancer gene. He studies retroviruses. He knows what he's talking about. I like you, too, Chris. <laughs>